Sacrifice. What's up everybody, Kinetic here, and welcome back to Soul Sacrifice on the PlayStation Vita. I took a little bit of break, but I'm already back here with Soul Sacrifice, and I may upload this video also today, because I did so much damn talking in the previous video. I was like, man, these guys want to see more than that. I can't just put up one video with me yammering on just like I'm doing right now and not doing anything in the game. Let's get back to the story, shall we? Let's do it. <laughs> もう Interesting, interesting, interesting. As you guys can see, um, I haven't switched it to uh, English. I, again, uh, this is sort of like taking place in the same day as the uh, the other video I recently uploaded. So I don't know what you guys voted for English or for Japanese, but I will definitely switch to English if you want to hear English or if you're comfortable with uh, reading off of the screen, then um, yeah, I, I think it's I think it's more interesting listening to like a foreign voice and reading in um, in English. And that's how I, I deal with uh, my anime as well. Like I'll listen to it in Japanese and I'll read English subtitles. That's the way to go. Calling all sorcerers, exterminate these monsters. Carnivorous slime in the desert. Well, here we go. I can give you guys a little bit of strategy on how to deal with this, uh, this monster. You don't want to get close to this guy. That is for damn sure, because he will punish you for getting close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all of my homing spells. That's for damn sure. And I'm going to use a golem. I'm not going to use this one, because this one is... OP as hell, and I don't even know how I got that one, to be honest. I think that might have been like a, a PlayStation Network bonus or something like that. I'm just going to use a normal Golem, because that is probably what you guys are using, and I want to do what is close to what you guys are probably using, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to, like, do a walkthrough with, like, super-powered, you know, mysteriously found um, spells that you probably guys don't have or something like that. Uh, let's see what else. What else do I need? That's honestly, that's mostly it. You need long range and you need Gollum. I think. I'm going to bring that. My ice thorns. This is those are really good, actually. And if I can freeze. Sorry guys, give me just a second. If I can freeze slime, then I will hit it with the Spear Fragment. This will also be good for uh, minions in the area as well. But for the monster itself, it's mostly going to be uh, Attack Explosive, aka Mortar Shots, the Pinwheels, and the Ice Thorn, and of course the Golem. And definitely bring a heal for this because, like, with my, um, with my sigils, what I'm, I'm using, is a, an attack amplifier, which will give me plus 50% attack, but will also dull my defenses by 25%. Actually, I have another one. Oh my god! When did I get that? Well, hell, let's turn it up. Now, plus 60% and minus 35 uh, defense. There's a... Uh, oh, oh, wow. Hey, hold up. Wow, I'm going to have to check these out later. I, I have unlocked a bunch of sigils that I didn't even know that I had. <laughs> uh, let's see, homing magic. That's no good because I'm not bringing any homing magic, am I? Out of the ones that I have... Ah, here we go. Explosive. Hell yes. Give me that explosive amplifier. Throw, that'll be good. Uh, force stampener. I pro it's probably not useful. We have a freeze amplifier. Uh, let's see. Shock. Poison, 
stone, scapegoat, heat, frost. None of these are really useful for me. Uh, except for maybe that freeze amplifier. So let's go with that. There's a quick setup of what's going on. And so far my black brides are just in furnace. Alright, let's get started. This slime boss is one of the first bosses that kind of gave me a hard time because I wanted to fight it close range. I didn't I wasn't really feeling like doing long range fighting so much when I started uh, playing Soul Sacrifice and got to this boss. I was like, I wanna hit the piece of shit. <laughs> Not just throw things at it, but honestly that's the way to go. And you have to kind of that's the way you kind of have to bend most of the time with uh, monsters, is you have to do, you know, what works, you know what I'm saying? Not what's painful, unless you're just, you know, self-destructive like that, <laughs> and you want to, you know, get hit or something like that, or, you know, take the chance to fight something with, with a high chance of getting hit, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so here we go, we've got some, uh, some orcs here, let's clear them out first. I might actually get a freeze off. Yep, look at that. The holder that you long, uh, the holder that you long, oh my god, the longer, <laughs> the longer that you hold a spell like that, a homing spell, <laughs> um, the more powerful it will be. Bam! I'm finishing up those guys with a couple of uh, ice attacks. Bam! And that's it. They're done. Alright. Just like before, you guys saw, I, I set the bait, and the other orcs just came right over to it. Alright, so, yep, as usual, I'm gonna leave that over there. Oh, and somebody said, yeah, you can put something on the ground, and that will act as bait, but why take up a slot in your spells when you can just do that for free, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I mean, I understand where the guy was coming from, but it seems to me like, you know, you can, you can not bring a spell that attracts monsters like that and instead bring something else that may be useful. But whatever, that's cool. Alright, so this is going to be actually similar to the uh, the Hydra, actually. Golem, down, and run like hell. And look at that, you can see the shit that he's throwing already. It's nasty. Oh boy, and we got orcs also already spawning. Oh wait, it's charging. Counter. There we go. To carry him. Look at that golem doing work. Hell yeah. I need to react quick here. Uh oh, the golem's done. <laughs> oh, 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 I broke his curse part. Sweet! Quickly, get that. Get that, get that. Get the hell out. Is that? Yeah, it already disappeared. Damn it. Oh shit, he's charging. The, uh, the other orc body already disappeared, damn it. Alright, so now he's gonna be spewing sh Oh, he's jumping! Ooh! Ooh, that was close! Alright, quickly, throw down the golem, get the fuck out! Go! 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 Jesus. Sometimes I hate how long it takes for you to, like, get out of a spell cast like that. Let's take care of this, uh, orc so that way he doesn't become an issue. Counter. Dead. Alright, I need to be careful because my spells are breaking. But, we should be kicking his ass. Yep, look at that, he is red. He's done, son! Done! Stick a fork in it. The turkey is done. Oh, actually, there's already a fork in it. <laughs> oh. What to do, what to do. See, this is the thing that also a lot of the reviews are not talking about. They're not talking about the consequences and, and how it affects your game so much. Like, it affects the story, it affects even the Avalon packs. Like, whether you choose to save or sacrifice these guys. Look at that, I also got 
a golem <laughs> as a reward. How awesome is that? 470 for a divine sorcerer. I didn't look at uh, didn't look at my points. I assume it was just pure awesome. And I got some uh, new information on sigils. Cool. Save progress. Yeah, you go ahead and save that progress. Save complete. その魔物が何体か現れたが、全てを蹴散らした。老いた相棒が倒れた魔物の体によたよたと近づいていった。顔に正気が宿り、みるみる若返っていく。魔物の生贄にしずさまたましを収ぼることで、彼は生きながらえ